Hello and welcome to Daily Mount Park. It's, it was a beautiful day up until this point. The scalps are getting very blustery as we await Bohemians versus Sligo Rovers. Both teams tonight, we've got James Talbot in goal, Tyreek Wilson at left back. We've got Kieran Kelly and Jordan Buckley in at centre half. To the right back, we've got Packham, um, Flores and Twardek come into the team. Liam Burt is only fit to make the bench tonight. Leading the line as promised with Junior, the other ex Sligo man in the team on the right wing. Sligo Rovers line up tonight. Ed McGinty in goal. Colm Horgan comes in at right back for Lewis Banks. Blaine, Shane Blaney and Gary Buckley at centre half. Robbie McCourt, the ex man at left back. Greg Bulger and Morahan in the middle. We've got Will Fitzgerald on one wing, Carlo Sullivan on the other, and David Cawley in behind the front man and top goal scorer for Sligo this year, Aidan Keane. Looking for a pass here. Point to Kelly. Kelly to deliver at the back stick. Flores is at the back stick there, helps it back in, but McGinty is there to hold it. McGinty, like he, it's great having a keeper like that, McGinty. He just plucks the ball out of the sky, like to have that confidence behind you, like forward Flores finds Wilson. Back to Flores now in midfield. Time to look up and look for the run of ends up at Ali Coote who takes on a shot. Never really got his full force behind it. Just wide of McGinty's post. Yeah, great ball, great diagonal ball from Tyreek Wilson. Two Bohemians players there at uh, Ali Cute and Dustin Foy. Crowded out by three Sligo Rovers players. But the ball does get forward now with Junior. And space inside, finds a way to Cute. He's 1v1, just inside the Sligo box. Gets around with court, plays the ball in, but well defended by Gary Buckley. Good tracking back there by Fitzgerald, manages to clear the ball only as far as Jordan Flores who drives forward onto his right foot, looks to get the ball into the box through Promise. Blocked. Looks to get it out of his feet onto his left foot. Penal. With the boy. Oh, goal from what Bohemians. a goal. What a goal. Great finish, <laughs> Dawson the boy after great work from Jordan Flores and Promise on Cherry. Finds Dawson the boy who slams home and over all the Sligo defenders and Ed McGinty in the goal. And no more than Bowser deserved in this second half, David Scully. Yeah, I've said it, Oscar. The goal was coming. You can't play like that, sitting back and just waiting on things to happen. Like they kick the ball up, hopeful that uh, Aiden's going to do something up there on his own. But Bowes had played a high tempo for the the four sixty minutes, and he deserved the goal. Here is Greg Bulger on the ball. First low goal, driving forward, driving towards the edge box. Finds Keane inside. Good pressure, boy. Good block in the end by Kelly, but it's only to Fitzgerald. Robbie McCourt with the shot. Better play from Sligo, good strike there from Robbie McCorp, just can't get over it enough to keep it on target. Yeah, just uh, two, two uh, quick chances in, in quick succession. Liam Buckley be doing his utmost not, not to lose again tonight. As we see the boy, clever little pass into Q, in space. 2v2 in the middle, great ball in, Junior get rises, Toyest. Oh, what a save. Brilliant save by Ed McGinty down to his right hand side. Brilliant header by Junior. Rose early, managed to hang up. Brilliant header down into the corner, but Ed McGinty was equal to it. Some vision from the void, they just get Ali Cute in. And he did a rough start to the, the season this year, like uh, he was a bit low in confidence. So I think he got dropped once or twice, but now the last four or five games, been fantastic for him. And what a bleed, what a ball he's at the bottom show there, promise. There's promise, squares it for Junior. Oh, oh, what a goal. What a goal. I didn't know if it'd make it, but <laughs> promise unselfish again. Another assist for him and Junior, who's worked so hard tonight. Just reward for him. Loops the ball over McGinty, who couldn't do anything about it. And it's 2 0 to Bowes. Yeah, I was just talking about that young man, Dawson Defoy. He shreds the ball in between the lines there, promise. And uh, promise has a composure to see Junior. I don't know. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> I don't know if Junior meant that chip, but <laughs> he just hit the ball off. We put it. It took forever for the ball to go to the net, but two 0 no more than the Bohemians and safe. Really good second half from Bowes and long throw in there. He's pushing all the lads into the box there. Liam is hoping for a second ball or a flick on. Morgan with the long throw. Coming, going to come out to McDonald on his left foot. Great oh, strike. What a goal, unbelievable goal. Great strike. Great strike with McDonald. Down to James Hovis, left hand side. He just couldn't get it. And Sligo are back in the game. Five minutes to go, 2 1. 
Yeah, the long throw, we all think uh, Lean was pushing 10, 10 players in, he only had one player at the back. But that's, you see the Bohemians there just getting in a huddle there, they're just panicking a bit. Wonder can you see the game out with four minutes to go. And uh, interesting game now, Monday night, local uh, Dublin derby. The Bohemians beat St. Patrick's to go ahead of them. Yeah, Pats. Full time here at Daly Mount Park. And it's Bohemians 2, Sligo Rovers 1. All goals coming in the second half. The goal from Dawson the Voith open the scoring. Junior double the lead for Bowes before Adam McDonald with a fantastic strike off his left foot. Gave Sligo hope late on, but it's 2 1 to Bowes in the end. And a great three points for them. I thought we deserved to win. Um, I thought I thought we, uh, without necessarily dominating the game uh, from start to finish, I think we were the better side. Um, created chances and probably could have won by a little bit more. A little bit nervy towards the end, hanging on. But it's a great strike by Adam McDonald. Um, we probably should go ahead uh, in, in the first half. Kieran Kelly has a, has a header off the crossbar. Uh, you were alive, tell me that Ed McGinty makes a great save, you know, touches onto the crossbar. Um, second half, I thought we come out and lit it up. I thought first 20 minutes, second half, we create chance after chance. Um, and we get ahead and, um, you know, uh, in other games or previous games, we haven't, uh, you know, capitalised on getting ahead in games. So we got a second goal, which gives us a little bit of comfort, a little bit of breathing space. But in true fashion in, and true to form this year we conceded um, a goal which is like I said it's a well, a well taken strike by Adam McDonald. but um, you know and bodies were tired you know fatiguing towards the end and you know but we, we hung on in there we, we defended manfully and um, like I said we, we created chances we won the game and deser deservedly won the game